Now, look at this picture. We have this lady looking at the peaks, which means the audience's attention is directly over here. What if your text could emerge from behind the hills like this? Quite beautiful, isn't it? Let's see how to do this from scratch. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,000 premium PowerPoint animated templates that help you top quality slides quickly. The link is in the description box below. First, let us knock the easy parts out. You insert a picture by going to insert pictures stock images. This is the photo I used. I say insert and it is on the slide. I crop it to 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and then stretch it from one corner to another. One job done. Next, I need to have text. Here is the text from two text boxes. Now, how do we make this text to move from here to here? Fairly simple. You select it and apply motion path animation by going to motion paths and lines and say up. Let us add a bit of drama to this motion path animation. Open this, go to effect options and add bounce end and say OK. Now that looks good. Next, we want this to fly in after the previous animation. So I select this and say fly in animation and it is coming from right and this happens after previous. Let us make this a bit slower by going to one second and add some bounce effect to this one as well to make it look consistent. Now when I go to slideshow, this is what we have got so far. First the coat and then the person who made the coat. So far, so good. Now look at my animation. All the text doesn't come at one go. It comes word by word. And then we have the person who made the coat. So how do we achieve this? One way is instead of animating the whole sentence, you break it down into their individual words and then apply the same motion path animation and say with previous with a bit of delay. Can you see here we have four words all of them happening with previous but the second one has 0.5 seconds delay the next one one second and the third one is one and a half seconds delay and then we have the last one happening after previous so you have one word after another coming in slowly now is that a good solution it gets the job done but it is not the most efficient solution so how do you make this come word by word it's very simple all you need to do is to go to the animation go to the effect options go to the animate text and say by word and then you have the delay as 25 percent between words and say okay now when i go to slideshow this is how the animation happens one word after another and it's very beautiful but then how do you make the words come behind the hills like this it's utterly simple let me show you how here i have the picture i make a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl d and place this right over the previous one then let me go to home, go to auto shapes gallery from lines. I'm going to pick up this one called as freeform scribble. And then I'm going to scribble just the shape of the mountain like this. You don't really have to be absolutely accurate or anything. As long as you are somewhere following along the lines of these hills, it is good enough. Now I've got this done and then I go all the way around. I don't really have to be too careful here and then go to the start of this. And now you've created a rough figure. Can you see here? Some of the parts are not really right behind it. It's completely fine. The next step is select this picture, hold the shift button down and select this shape that you had just drawn. Then go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape intersect. Now what you've got here is an image which is of the same shape as the one that you had drawn. Now, when I move this, you can see that this is the way the picture has been cropped. Now, let me press Ctrl Z to bring it back to its position. Now, when I go to slideshow, you can see that my animation happens from behind the hills. It looks beautiful, but then the person who made the coat is not visible. So all I need to do is to click and drag my cursor across. And this is the person who made the coat. Right click and say bring to front. Now, when I go to slideshow on a click, you can see that everything happens just the way you had envisaged it to be. Now I'll show you two templates from comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint templates bundle and see how we created this animation. This explains the three-step process. On a click, we show the first step and then we have a hand that draws the arrow to the second step. Once we finish our explanation, then we have the same hand drawing the arrow to the third step. Here is another template. We have four-step process with animation. The first step is shown like this and you can see that we have a highlight on that. On a click, we have the attention drawn to stage two, then the attention moves to stage three, and then the attention moves to stage four. Did you figure out how I created these animations? If yes, say yes in the comment section below. 
If not, you can always check out our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. There are more than 4,200 such beautifully animated templates that can serve as an inspiration and also can save you time if you have some key presentations to make. In the meantime, do you want to learn some useful animation tips you can use in your next presentation? Then go ahead, click on the link and start watching this video and pick up some useful PowerPoint animation tips that will knock the socks off your bosses and colleagues. Go ahead, click, watch and learn PowerPoint animation.